All right, well, the liberal professor under fire for celebrating the late Barbara Bush's death in a tweet calling her an amazing racist is now sparking even more outrage. And Fresno State Professor Rhonda Gerrar seen in newly resurfaced clips saying even more offensive comments. Take a look at this. A person hones their writer's voice is by telling people to shut the f up when they annoy them. Dude, no other, no woman asked you questions. Look at the I'm so proud when people walk out on my talks. I'm just like, yeah, because when you swear, it makes your argument more powerful. Here to weigh in, correspondent for CampusReform.org and student at California State University, Fresno, Bernadette Tazy. Bernadette, thanks for joining us this morning. We're going to put up one more quote from this esteemed professor. Uh, she also said this recently. She said, Fresno is one of those places where, like, a lot of the agriculture, a lot of food that America eats is grown there or around there even though a lot of the farmers are now Trump supporters and just bleeping stupid. So between a tweet that mocks the death of a first lady, uh, what she said in the clip you heard, and all Trump supporters are stupid, I mean, where does this mindset come from for this professor? You know, I think this is very disrespectful and it's very shocking, but honestly, not I'm, I'm really not surprised that this is coming from a university professor. Mm. And I think other students, even on other campuses, would say the same, unfortunately. And while Professor Gerard absolutely has the right to free speech, her comments this past week and before have been vile and absurd and certainly not up to the standards that a professor should be. And as a professor, she's always teaching, whether she's in or out of the classroom, and she ser serves as a role model for the next generation. And while I disagree with her comments and I condemn her comments, she does have a right to free speech. So I do believe that firing her on the basis of, uh, specifically on the basis of her comments this past week, would be a mistake. It would be a slippery slope mm. for deciding what comments, who decides what comments are offensive enough to fire a public university employee. Yeah, you just think, though, what a terrible representative for that university. I want to read another one of Gerard's tweets. She says, sweetie, I work as a tenured professor. I make 100K a year doing that. I will never be fired. I will always have people wanting to hear what I have to say. Even you are one of them. What do you think? the university should do? I mean, does this speak to a bigger systemic problem within our education system that you can get away with saying these things? I mean, you're the ones that are teaching the future of this country. Absolutely. I think education upon what free speech entails and what respect for differing viewpoints is key for students, staff, and faculty. And her comments do reflect intolerance and hatred towards those she disagrees with. And this sort of bias and intolerance from some professors is something we see and report on all the time at the Leadership Institute's campusreform.org. And I'm the president of a Students for Life chapter on campus, a pro-life organization. And last year, we actually filed a lawsuit against a professor um, with ADF against a professor who actually recruited students from his 8 a.m. class to erase messages, university-approved messages that we chopped on the sidewalks outside of the university. Mm -hmm. And what this professor did was actually censor student speech. Right. And unfortunately, this professor and Professor Gerard are putting a very negative light upon our university. And this is very unfortunate for our campus and for other professors on our campus. What is your organization, but it's also something what is your organization think should be done to punish her? Should there be a punishment? What is my organization? What is the pro-life organization think should be done to punish the professor that erased our yeah? Our do they messages? think? Do they think that no? This professor here. Do they think that anything should be done to send a message of of who is representing that university? I think the key would be to educate. Um, upon uh, what free speech entails and, and what uh, respect would be for differing viewpoints. And I think that this is uh, something it, that we see. Upon, you're educating yeah. us this morning because you're standing up and saying they're saying these vile things, they're, but yet they have a right to free speech. Yet you know these leftists, including this professor, would shut you down and your speech rights at a moment's notice. How does that equate? get squared because you're talking about real tolerance and real free, free speech and they're saying certain speech is acceptable and certain speech is not. Absolutely. And I, I think you're absolutely right. If this is uh, affecting her teaching within the classroom, then I think that uh, certain disciplinary actions do need to be taking place, especially if this would be um, inciting any kind of violence 
um, against students or against any other group of individuals. Um, but again, I think firing her on the basis of just her comments this past week on Barbara Bush would be a mistake because it would be a slippery slope on upon who deems what a uh, speech to be offensive enough because to be you, firing be, you believe in actual intellectual liberty. Bernadette Tazy, campusreform.org. Thank you. Just yeah. imagine, Abby, if it would have been a conservative professor saying, you know, Obama supporters are stupid, what would happen at the university? Yeah. Think about that double standard. Bernadette, double thank standard. you.